all right uh, so yesterday uh, uh, we saw how to set up uh, uh, the virtual environment install django all right uh, so now we'll be just uh, understanding uh, what actually yesterday uh, with it like what actually is uh, django what is the framework what are the advantages and okay uh, somewhat uh, things related to web development and then we'll proceed ahead so i'll share my screen yeah so obviously uh, we are aware that django is python based uh, number 1 and uh, yeah django is a web framework so understanding web framework is quite important so web framework will basically give you uh, uh, building blocks for your website which are very uh, common building blocks like uh, the login which is uh, almost in all the websites uh, so session handling so all these things will be uh, readily available in your web framework it will be like a skeleton you have to only focus on the business logic that you want to develop so web framework uh, okay is quite uh, helpful it provides uh, you with the initial initial structure as i just said skeleton for the web uh, app development then uh, yeah it also helps you develop your application in a standard way okay so it will uh, enforce that okay you uh, write your code you develop it uh, in the standard way that uh, is usually done we'll see how it helps us uh, we are obviously we have installed uh, django which is a web framework we'll understand uh, how it helps us in developing in a standard manner uh yeah uh, it is also useful uh, it helps us in deployment as well this is slightly advanced uh, but yeah it is quite helpful uh yeah the third thing is it makes development easier and faster because uh, already provides us uh, with uh, all the basic things that are required in web development uh, it is readily available we just have to yeah implement it uh, then yeah so let's take an example of a car so for a car uh, we need uh, wheels uh, we need the doors uh, the outer structure which is quite uh, common in all the cars all right uh, but what is uh, going to change is basically uh, the engine it will be different in different cars so web framework is similar uh, like we can compare it with this car that uh, wheels and doors are all almost there in all the cars and then it is readily available and uh, okay uh, the person can focus only on the engine uh, which will give quality to that car so that is how web framework helps us so yeah we can focus on the coding part that is the business logic when we have some web app uh, development uh so yeah so authentication session handling some basic add edit operations uh, which are quite common uh, in a web uh, in a web app so this will be handled uh, uh, by web framework and uh, we just have to focus on the logic that is quite important for a web app so yeah and yeah there are many more things uh, as you develop as you work on it you will uh, you will learn about it yeah coming back to django so advantages it is definitely fast scalable and uh, yeah security is also there so quite a few advantages it's a free and open source and uh, you don't need to know sql uh, okay it's not necessary because django has its own orm that is uh, object manager so these are few things related to django django installation has been done yesterday uh, ankit has done that so yeah and uh, you also have a virtual environment it's a good practice to always create a virtual environment uh, we'll see a couple of things uh, i am sure yesterday ankit uh, spoke about this about the virtual environment so you all are aware of it but still uh, okay we'll talk about it 
so it's a uh, obviously it will help you isolate uh, system packages okay uh, and uh, the pack packages that you install on the system so you have a isolated uh, environment so if you do some uh, yeah something happens something goes wrong okay in that environment it won't affect your system packages okay and uh, because packages sometimes have dependency on other packages so definitely won't break your system install python packages so good practice to have a virtual environment yeah now there is always a, a question that python and django versions we always have which python version django version okay so according to me uh, any uh, django version uh, you can use it is definitely uh, there is uh, not uh, much changes uh, in the versions there are definitely uh, but uh, not uh, uh, quite uh, tremendous changes you will see so yeah the core remains the same so that is why you can use any but obviously it is better to go for the latest version there are a couple of reasons uh, Uh, so we can use the latest version of python if we have uh, the latest django version and yeah the uh, security is main thing the it the security improves with the version so quite important yeah so i i am sure everyone is aware about the request response model uh, between client and the server so it's quite a, a common thing that we are aware of that is what uh, Uh, we are going to do right now so uh, the client will be sending an a uh, request to the server http request the server where our django lies will process it and in return will send http response yeah uh, so we have uh, uh, django which is on the server side will uh, roughly look like this uh, yeah which is uh, mvt will not go much on the mvt uh, architecture that is uh, model uh, view template uh, so basically django as i told you at the start it helps you develop in a very standard way so you will find your uh, database that is uh, yesterday uh, i think ankit gave you a brief introduction about all these files so when you create a, a django app you will see in app you have urls views models all these files are created for you so whenever a request comes to the django server okay it hits the url uh, so from url uh, the views are wired wired means it is uh, for each url you have a view connected so that particular view is called which is your actual logic the views where you write your okay uh, business logic and here it is basically it make uh, have a database call which is your models uh, contains uh, okay the database details uh, and uh, yeah and once it, it processes all the data it uh, it has uh, obviously uh, html uh, which is uh, which will be its uh, response so it will call uh, the templates necessary templates uh, and then uh, it will render accordingly and it will send back a uh, send back it uh, response to the client so point is uh, over here the views which is your logic is separate from your templates okay which will be seen by the user and the models the database is separate so in so you basically write your code uh, on a, in a it is segregated so that is the standard way you don't write all the thing at one place and then it becomes difficult to maintain difficult to scale and difficult for someone who is new uh, okay to understand your code and to uh, yeah scale it further so quite a good practice uh, uh, of se segregating your code okay uh, so yeah all right thank you uh, so this was uh, more of a sh short uh, kind of Uh, understanding what yesterday uh, you all did that is uh, what is django what is virtual environment what is web framework all right uh, so what uh, exactly is going to happen 
now uh, we are going to send a, a request http request to the server and how we'll we'll uh, process it and we'll send a response back to the client this is our basic goal for now and yeah 